Hello there! You're probably wondering what the heck you just clicked on. Well, I'm not sure either. Must be a project presentation or something. Anywho, let's just get to it. We want to be doing our things. I'm okay as I am, but still. So, let's just go very quickly over the objectives for the internship uh, so we know what we're aiming for here. First off, we have the professional learning objectives. There was some confusion about this, but it worked out after some trial and error. They ended up being as follows. Further improve my web design and development skills. Getting skills at working with JavaScript. Getting skills at working with PHP. Getting skills at working with Java. Then there's the personal learning objectives, which are as follows. Improve my mobile development skills. Refresh my general marketing knowledge. Getting skills at working with Java for Android. Now that I'm done with the list, I can actually start with the good stuff. As you have probably noticed, if you read the blog or at least came through it, not all of those points have been completed. I will go over each and every one describing what and why, if at all. Without further ado, here are the reasons as to why I learned things and why not. So I started working with creating the design. After a lot of trial and error and a cranky client, I was done with the design. That took about oh, the whole internship period. However, I did actually work on learning what I would have liked to learn. I knew the client wasn't serious about the project, even though he would have liked to have a product such as the one I was supposed to make. So, learning was just a natural thing for me at that point. Anyway, I started off uh, learning how to set up a web store. I tried using OS Commerce because it seemed to be the most popular. I had some issues with it, so I decided to just get something with open source. After a lot of searching, I managed to find OpenCart. It is very easy to understand, although the scripts are quite a bit advanced. I played around with it quite a bit and eventually got to understand it pretty well and how the different parts of the code work with each other. Some JavaScript was used to make the page have better usability. At first, I had no idea what I was doing, but quickly figured out how it works. Even managed to implement an easter egg revolving around a certain cheat code that was introduced in the 1986 Gladius. I didn't get to work with Java sadly, being a bit pressed for time uh, because of the indecisive client and all. However, I managed to work on my people skills. Oh, did I manage to work on my people skills. Communication with the moody and indecisive client while trying not to strangle him was really what made my skills grow, I would think. On to the learning objectives. First one was um, improving my mobile development skills. When working with a client in order to make a mobile application, that is sort of a given, I would think. The product I made was not only fully responsive, but it also looked pretty decent, and that is not just my assumption. I actually did some field research. And after consulting with people from which I received pretty good actually advice regarding the design and usability, I reworked the design and the client was thoroughly impressed, surprisingly. Refreshing my general marketing knowledge was a bit too far-fetched. I was expecting to work a bit more with marketing, to be honest. Uh, having the nature of the work I did, though, did not exactly allow me to do much of that. We did discuss ways to draw in more customers, such as advertisements on the radio, discount coupons, and other things of the same nature. I managed to implement uh, one of those discount coupons thingy on the web store, actually, and it works pretty nicely. You get a 10% discount whenever you input it. Well, that just about wraps up the explanations. Now I just have to make the animation itself. Huh, look, I'm actually finished. 